Africans, it's not a Rasta talk because some, some, some people say that oh, those are Rasta talks. You know, it's only Rasta who claim that. I mean, they. I mean, they. They, they try to, to to belittle the agenda to the Rasta thing. Is it a Rasta thing or an African thing? You see. Well, you see, Rasta far right take it up. Mm -hmm. You over. Yeah. Reparation, as I say, is a universal principle. Yeah. 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 Right. So. That you universal principle mm -hmm. should be adhered to. Mm -hmm. You know, what everywhere. I mean? for, yes. Mm -hmm. So for 400 years or more, I and I've been enslaved, mm -hmm. and after enslavement come colonialism. Yeah. Right. And now we have neo-colonialism. Yes. Sir. Right. That means to say the African is not free. The African continent is not free. Yeah. Yeah, to be used by Africans, the resources to be used by Africans in which way they deem to do so. You see? So, and there's been no compensation for an eye enslavement. None. You can't even get an apology. Because when you get an apology, not even an apology for these, these crimes against humanity. Yes, these crimes against humanity have not been repaired. Africa has not been repaired. Yeah? And compensated. Right? And I and I have not been compensated. So Rastafara is just dealing with that. In, in some you places, around, in some, yeah. put it right. In, in some places, there is a great denial of, uh, of those uh, who committed these crimes. Uh -huh. They denying their participation, or they tend to blame the victims now. You know, they say that Africa sold their fellow Africans. We know for certain there was collaborators. You can always find collaborators. But still the, 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 the business itself we are the kind of imperialist business, you see it. So blaming the victim won't work. And there we know that um, there are a lot of Africans who would like to get back to Africa willing. Yes. Yes. But yes, sir. would you share with us the complications, particularly dealing with the modern state establishment, African states. Do they have that consciousness to value these things like repatriation and stuff? No. What difficulties are you facing, including? You can even share your personal experience. Okay, so for example, no. Yeah. You see, I and I are one people. Yeah? yeah. So I and I have family. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. And some people come and grab your brother, your sister, your uncle, your auntie, and carry them away. Yes? Right? And work them for 400 years or more for free. Yeah? And build their house. And, bi oh, and build their civilizations yeah, yeah. for free. Right? And they make lots of money off of it. Yeah, yeah. Yes? All right. So it's a trade. Yeah? In human cargo. Yeah, yeah. Yeah? Now what we are saying is that they know it went on because they kept logs. Yeah, yeah. And kept records. Records. And they are there. And the idea we can check them, them have names, the museums and names are all right. And everything. All right. I know the insurance system was built up, their banking system was built up, the places that were built with it. Yeah, it's still here on planet Earth. It didn't, they didn't go to the moon and deal with it, it's here on Earth. Yeah? So those Africans who were taken away, right, still have that yearning to go home. That is part of reparation. Yeah, 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 man. It's to repair. Mm -hmm. So you know, I bring I and I forward to where I and I come from. That is a part of reparation. It's to repair because you tore down civilizations. Yeah, you tore tore down ones ways of living. Took away their concept of God and gave them an alien concept of God. Yeah, they mean they with means of worship and all these things. Almost the everything they right? do. Almost everything. All right, so we need compensation for it. Yeah.
in these states of ours, 54 states here in Africa, I think in your view that they have done less to bequeath that uh, repatriation agenda. What should be done by these states, in your view, to facilitate, I mean, this uh, repatriation thing, not to be seen as a, a very special thing, but an obligation to them? It is a special thing. No, what I'm saying is, they think of it as something should facilitate it somewhere else and brought before them so that they can implement what should be done by them okay to, to get back to my analogy <laughs> yeah mm -hmm. your brother and sisters have been taken away yeah mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. then you should be petitioning mm -hmm. or demanding their return their return and facilitating that return mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. You're going to need land. You, didn't, you, you came from the land, you're going to need land. Mm -hmm. You're going to need an infrastructure. Mm -hmm. You're going to need to be reintegrated into Africa. Emotionally, spiritually, yes. and all the stars. So where you go to, you need to learn the language. Yeah? I don't know, I know very little. Yeah, yeah. Swahili. Yeah, yeah. Yeah? Or Akan, or Yoruba. Or any, anything, it's Ozu, English. Uh, any of the African tongues. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Kidogo, Kidogo, Liko, Liko. Yeah, yeah. yeah, we are moving. Yes. Give thanks for that. Yeah. All right, so yeah. that is the situation. The situation is that you need to be reintegrated into Africa. So right? these states of us are doing very less. They're not doing anything. They're implementing immigration laws and regulations to ones who want to come home and help and build Africa. Yeah, we should have a right of return. Like taken here without papers, they are well, demanding gonna, papers, uh, the papers. visas. Go and get your visa. And you, you need to pay back your Africanness. Okay.